Great Television Studios present Night Groove, sponsored by RDC Custom Clothing. Financial Edge, give them a call, 1-800-657-5037. Get your copy today for you my brother for you my brother is a sweet yet bitter memoir of e marie's life with her brother jerry for you my brother by e marie get your copy at amazon recorded live at drake's television studio in the beautiful city of vallejo comes night groove Featuring Bay Area local talent, gospel, spoken word, blues, hip-hop, reggae, country, and heavy metal. And here's your host, LaTanya Williams. I'm your host here on the Night Groove TV show. Today I'll be bringing to you Mr. Les Franklin. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I heard you tell your friend you need a man that knows how to love a good woman. time oh know, okay during this COVID-19 uh, yeah we've kind of been going through that COVID thing you know I want to know um, who's your greatest inspiration uh, when it comes to music wow there's so many great artists out there but the one I really really love that he sings with so much uh, passion mm -hmm. you know and that's Teddy P Woo, TP yeah I can kind of you know, see that it, and then running that. neck to neck, you know, Eddie LaVert between them two guys. Yeah. And then you'd have to throw some Jeffrey Osborne on yeah, there. Yeah. So, I mean, those are my top three. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, those are good choices, and I can see it, too. It kind of relates. To your song, you just, I'm a good man, you know what I mean? Yes. That kind of, I can see it. Yes. I can see it. So, can you tell the people out there in the Bay Area um, uh, where are some of the places that you have performed and what do you have coming up in the future? 
Well, um, when I look at uh, my travel, it's very extensive. 15 years, 48 uh, countries with the legendary Little Richard. So I've been all time. over the world, you know. Yeah. Thank God, you know, for the legend that, you That's know. That's a long time to choose. Yes, and he chose. <laughs> so, so I mean, the, you, know, the, you know, Paris, France, you know, yeah. what people like going to, yeah. uh -huh. uh, London, England, uh, Switzerland, Bulgaria, Hungary, Africa. I mean, just so many places. You know, that that's pretty iconic. And, uh, I mean, I can think of a greater name to have on your map than Little Richard, you know. So. Yes, yes, yes. You know, the, the, the innovator, the originator, and the oh. architect of rock and roll. So, you know, I just... Uh, Thank God, you know, for that uh, that opportunity, you know, to be able to you know to run with, with a legend that allowed me to run with all the legends. Yes, yes. You guys hear that, Little Richard? And he just passed. Um, I know that had to be pretty hurtful to you. Yes. Well, I mean, yes, I'm gonna miss him very much. Yeah. You know, uh, it was a very very shocking to me. You know, uh, but. You know, uh, spirit wasn't born, so spirit can't die. So long live, you know, the legendary Little Richard in spirit and in his music, it would never die. That's true. Um, can you tell the um, my audience out here in TV in the TV world? Um, do you have a project coming out, a CD or a single release? Uh, what's going on with that? Yes, well, during this COVID nineteen, um, um, I, I sat down and began to write, and I do have a new song called. I am a good man, yeah. and I have a song called "Easy Love" that I just recently released mm -hmm. uh, this past Saturday, wow. and uh, it's a blessing. Uh, you know, you can find us on iHeart Radio. You can find us on uh, uh, Sirius XM, uh, Spotify. Uh, just you know, Pandora. Yeah, I'm a yeah. good man. That's the song you just um, just a minute. Ago. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, just did. Yeah, I'm, a, a, I'm a good man. So if you if you guys out there, you know, you look for Les Franklin, him and his new CD. What's the what's the CD uh, called? Well, the CD hasn't been released yet, okay. but uh, I, I I'm still toiling with the uh, uh, the uh, what I want to call it because uh, because of the different uh, styles of music I like. You know, I, I think mm -hmm. I might want to call it retroactive because there's okay. so many young people that really don't know anything about a Jeffrey Osborne. They don't know anything about a Teddy P. That's you true. know, or even a Lionel Richie or somebody. That's very you know, you true. mentioned those names, they'd be going like, "Who are they?" You know, so I want to do like more like of a retroactive type mm -hmm. uh, album. You know, that it have a little old school and new school. They meet and you know, give it to them. You know, you know, give them Sounds the real. Good. Sounds good. Um, can you tell me how does this the being in the music industry affect uh, your family life? Because I know traveling and uh, doing shows could be a, a pretty much a hardship when you have a big family and you know you're trying to take care of home and you're also trying to be out there, you know, making people happy doing your music. Well, you know, uh, when it comes to family relationship, it can be very strenuous, mm -hmm. you know. But um, when you uh, have an understanding about what uh, what I'm doing, you know, and everybody, you know, have a role. Everybody have a role. You know, I have my role to go out and get the paper and get the cheddar and get the cheese, <laughs> you know, and get the money right. to bring the money That's back right. to the household the so the household can run. And then I, I just believe, you know, yeah. that, you know, uh, my woman, she has her yeah. uh, uh, position as well, you know, to make sure that I, we have a happy home. Yes, it can be very strenuous. Yes, I get lonely, you know, and, and, and it, it, it happens both ways. But it can be strenuous, but at the same time, you know, we ha well, I'm on a mission. That's right. You You're know, and, and I belong to my family. You know, I belong to my children. I belong to my woman. But I also belong to the world. When you put a record out, yeah. you belong to your fans as well. So it, it can be tough if you don't have a, a great understanding. But it, but when I'm out there, I belong to the fans. Yeah, it can be kind of hard. And, and uh, I see you have your um, wife here today. And she's such a beautiful, beautiful, she has such a beautiful spirit. And I just want to thank you for bringing her. <laughs> my, my, my. I want to thank you for bringing her. She is a doll, y'all. You all see her. <laughs> But anyway, That's right. um, well, um, do you or are you going to be performing in the Bay Area anytime soon that you know now that everything is kind of lifting, uh, you know, regarding this COVID thing? Um, where were you? Where, you where, where's your next? Where's your next stop? Well, right now, I mean, because of all the political um, yeah. uh, uh, things that are going on, you know, and. 
with the COVID going on. There's no art, art is really certain where they're going to be. Mm -hmm. But, you know, there are, uh, we are making plans that when it does open up, you know, that we're able to go just do a national tour. I mean, right now we just, you know, did a press release and uh, the press release, we're in over 20,000 news uh, wow. uh, that's, press that's releases. That's great. 20,000, yeah. over 20,000. So yeah. the name, this is a good time. The COVID is a good time. <laughs> It can be a good time. You can get a lot of work done. We, I'm getting a lot of work done. You know, things yeah. I probably never did before, right. you know, I'm doing now. Right. You know, so we have, we have over 20,000 um, uh, uh, blogs going on, over 20,000 uh, news releases going on all over, the, all over the world, all over the globe. So I'm looking forward when, when, this, when it does lift, uh, that I'm just traveling and international. Well, that's wonderful. Well, I know for me for sure, I'm looking forward to you um, performing another song and coming back on the show. And I'm looking forward to performing <laughs>
His love, it can, last, it can last forever. Yes, it can. And you'll get that man that will go to work. Indeed, indeed, indeed. And come home with the paycheck. That's right. And put the food on the table and yeah, all that stuff, yeah, huh? Yeah. All that good stuff. Help it, with the kids. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And they put the roses on the bed that's, with that's the rose right. petals. Just for nothing. Yeah, just, 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 <laughs> just, just because. That's the right. And pour that wine. <laughs> yes. That's right. That's right. So, I see you done came out here. You done busted out with this jacket on. And that's a cold piece of work right there. Could you spin around a little bit? Because I need the people to see this jacket. Uh, well, woo! Woo! Look at that. Ride. Look at that. Now, I hear there is a story behind this jacket here. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, there is a story, a very great story behind this jacket. As, I, as we spoke about earlier, I was, I traveled with the legendary Little Richard for mm -hmm. 15 years, 48 countries. Wow. Um, you have to have star quality to even be around him. Right. That's the kind of guy he picks stars. You know, yeah, and if you have star right. quality, yeah. you know, uh, you can make his team. That's why you're sitting right here. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I, I made the team. You know, and um, one day uh, he, he was going through his closet, and I said, I like that jacket right there. And he said, you like that jacket? I said, yes. And he just he gave me the jacket. Wow. You know, then when I looked the jacket up, I mean, you know, the history behind this jacket really is wow. that he wore this jacket at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame when he was inducting Ron Isley wow. into wait, the Rock and Roll wait, Hall wait, of wait, Fame. Lean on over here a little bit. Because <laughs> I, I just got to touch it. Uh, I just really got to touch this coat because yeah. this is – I just missed you. I feel the spirit. Yes, 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 yes. Indeed. yes spirit yes, is those. Yes, indeed. Yes, I love it. Those. Great, great, great stories. How many years did you travel with Mr. Richard? Well, all together. I mean, I've been, I, I've been knowing him from like I knew him over 25. You know, mm -hmm. we all know that he uh, made his transition. Uh, but uh, for like a straight 15 years, you know, you know, I was going back and forth with him. And uh, one of the greatest time I had, we went on the uh, Legends tour with uh, Jerry Lee Lewis. Uh -huh. And Chuck Berry, we did a five-year tour right there. That, that was one of the greatest tours I ever wow. went on because we got a chance to see all the legends in the world. Yes. Like B.B. King, Solomon Burke, Gabe Mount Brown, Billy Preston. I mean, you just name it. Aretha Franklin, <laughs> Pat LaBelle. You know, you name all of them. Yeah, this, there. This, 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 is, this is amazing. They, they would have yes, uh, right. Boosie Collins. I mean, just yeah. all the legends, you know. And it mm -hmm. was just, when they said a legends tour, it was a legends yes, tour. Yes, that is a legends you know? tour. So I felt just as much as the legends they did. I was okay. 40 feet from you Star. You are. You are. We, we know we were 40 feet from stardom, but you know I just want to make one thing you know clear that you know when I traveled with him I didn't only just perform with him, I was more I was like an, I called myself a utility man, okay you know um, a utility man or like a personal assistant as well mm -hmm. because there was things that you know they are like a personal assistant as well mm -hmm. because there was things that you know that he always asked didn't he do, do, do of me because he didn't trust everybody right. You know, like go pick up his clothes. You know, right. he had a guy named Billy that would pick up his clothes. But when Billy wasn't around, he'd call me. You know, I have a degree in audio, video, engineering. So when they needed, you know, something done on the stage, you know, I had a chance to work the stage, you know. He knew I was a, a soldier in the United States Army. When he needed security, I would work security. So I did everything, you You're know. kind of like an all-around. Yeah. Uh, yes. uh, yeah, you, yeah. You covered every area. Right. So he taught me how to master the stage and right. master business. Right. That's great. That's great. Tell me some crazy stories. Tell me something just real crazy, that, you know, that you guys did while you were on tour, you know. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I know you got a lot say, of crazy stories. Well, I'll tell you one of the most <laughs> craziest things that I, that, that I, I, I'll let you on the inside uh, of this one thing here. So everybody think, you know, Little Richard, because if you said shut up and all this stuff like that. Uh -huh. But I want you to know Little Richard was a real man. Yeah. yeah. Trust me when I tell you that. So we were on tour. Uh, I think we were up in Oregon somewhere doing a tour up there in Oregon. And Rich always tell the guy named Wayne, hey, go get me my money. Uh -huh. So he, the guy would go, you know, get the, you know, go to get, re to get the check or the money. Uh -huh. This particular time that Wayne came back to Rich, they said, they don't have your money. And so Rich said, well, tell him to come here. So the guy go over there, Rich <laughs> said, you don't go get my money. <laughs> I'm going to break your neck. I know. And that was the funniest thing I ever heard, right? I can just see his face saying it. Right. It was so funny. <laughs> it, went, it was a difference, it was a difference yeah. between shut up. Uh-huh. Right. And I'm going to break your I'm neck. Break your your neck. So yeah. I, thought, I thought that was kind of hilarious, but it was real. Yeah. It was real, but it was hilarious because uh -huh. when, when people see Little Richard, they don't see that part of him. Yeah. You know, so I had a chance to see, you know, the, the Richard on the stage and the, and the Richard that did business. Wow. And they both wow. were fun. Yeah, I can imagine. I, I would have loved to uh been on that tour. <laughs> I would love to have seen it. You know, so 
anyway, with this uh, COVID-19 thing going on, I know you've been in the house a lot, and, you know, we all, we've all been in the house a lot. I know that you have cooked up a storm. <laughs> well, I know you've been cooking up a storm. So well, what are some of your favorite foods that you just, something that you just seem like you have to have at least once a week? Well, if I had a choice, that's something I have to have once a week, and and uh, it had to be some smothered pork chops, Ooh. some smothered pork chops <laughs> with some smothered potato, potatoes, potatoes, <laughs> nice salad, you know, yeah. with some ranch dressing, uh -huh. you know, with the salad with the tomatoes and avocado and oh, onions, oh, and, you yeah. know, all the things that comes with a good salad for me, <laughs> you know. But the smothered pork chops, you know, with, you know, well, that's you know that's I that's could that's actually that. eat that every day. But I can deal with that, but you know, I'm a, I, I love fried fish myself. Oh, you you like yes, yeah, yes, indeed. Okay. You know, I, I take a good fish sandwich any, any day, okay. <laughs> any day, me myself. You know, and spaghetti. I love spaghetti. Yeah, yeah. You know, those are two of the, my two of my favorites that I, I love to eat. You, you can get me with a pork chop and some spaghetti. A, a pork chop and spaghetti. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So. Um, <laughs> show on the night groove with my good friend Latanya Williams. Oh, thank you. Thank this, this you. This is my sister. You, you know, I, 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 I call her Tanya Gummy Bear. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> I'm Gummy, Gummy Bear, y'all. Tommy Gummy Bear. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and I ain't mad. But you know she's what? sweet. That's why I call her. That's uh, why I call you. That you sweet. Yeah. So you know what? I want to see how sweet you can answer this black history question that I have for you. Well, I am black history. Now. Oh. <laughs> okay. 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 And the quote is, you have seen a man made a slave. You shall see a slave made a man. Now, only a real man can make a statement like that. And um, is it Frederick Douglass? Where you learn your black history at? Because you, you got that right. Well, my dad is a history book. Oh, so I well, learned. God. I learned. I learned about <laughs> Frederick Douglass before I even was able to open the school book. Wow, that was fantastic! And you know what? I'd love you to come back on the show. We're going to wrap it up today, and um, I'm going. That's the end of the show. My name is Latanya Williams. Once again, I am the host on the Night Groove TV show, and I'll see you back next month. Come back. Peace. Miguel Zimbala's handyman service serving the entire San Francisco Bay Area. Gutter repair. Interior service. Dry rot. Plumbing. Roof top repair. Serving the San Francisco Bay Area. Give Miguel Zimbalas a call at 707-337-8567. Jackson Buckman, alterations and custom sewing. Give them a call, downtown Vallejo. Ants Cakes by the Pound. Old school pound cakes with a new school twist. Serving the San Francisco Bay Area. Ants Cakes by the Pound. Vallejo Broadway Autos. 850 Broadway Vallejo. All major work, engine work, clutch work, brake service, tune up and small checks. That's Vallejo Broadway Auto. This has been a production of Drake Television Studios, Vallejo, California.